Picture this, you get a knock at the door, and you invite a guest over to your house, but you don't acknowledge the guest. As a matter of fact, they walk through the door, and they're standing there, and you continue to go about your day. You go upstairs, you go downstairs, you do your laundry, but you don't acknowledge the guest you just let into your home. You don't offer them a drink, you don't offer them a place to sit. So as you continue to blatantly ignore this guest, you decide to take it upon yourself to leave the home. You decide to go after and pursue other people and pursue after things that you just find to be more important at the time. So now you've been gone all day and you finally decide to come back home. And as you come back home, you realize that the guest is exactly in the same spot that you left them. Hasn't moved, hasn't sat down, hasn't gotten a drink of water, has been standing there like a statue, uncomfortable. That is oftentimes how we treat our relationship with God. See, we confuse wanting to seek after God's presence with wanting to keep God in our own presence. We keep God as this tool in our home that we only acknowledge and use when something is broken. See, the funny thing about the tools that we use in our homes are we oftentimes place these tools down somewhere for so long that we forget where we last put it. And oftentimes we forget where we last used it. See, the tool is still inside the home. The tool has never left. But the thing is, is you're not gonna find the tool in the same place that you last put it. You have to search new areas of the home. You have to go a little deeper in order to find this tool. We try to keep God in our own presence, and we leave God in a corner of our home, expecting to find God's presence exactly in the same spot we last left it. See, God's presence is still inside of you, for it will never leave you nor forsake you. See, the more that we keep God in our own presence, the more our homes become cluttered and disheveled. All of our problems in our home start building up. Pipe bursts. All the water in the sink won't drain. The trash is piling up. When all our problems start to pile up, we expect to find God's presence exactly where we last left it. This time around, you gotta go deeper. You gotta search a little harder. You gotta cry out. Sometimes you gotta get a little uncomfortable to get comfortable again. And I get it. Who wants to be uncomfortable from their own home? But the moment you realize that that guest you let into your home is the true homeowner, and you've been the guest the entire time, it becomes a lot easier. Psalms 105 verse four. And when we have him, we have everything. Therefore, seek the Lord in his strength seek his presence continually so let me ask you this are you seeking after god's presence or are you expecting god to seek after yours new year brings on new content i know this content's a little different but i want to incorporate more aspects of my life into my content you know the cinematic shorts are cool get ready with me's are cool all that stuff is cool but I also want to incorporate more of my authentic self. I was someone who kind of grew up in the faith. I was born into the church. You know, I've been going to church my whole life. You know, it's something that is important to me. It's not something I'm here to shove down your throats. It's not something I'm here to force you to believe. That's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to give insight. And if you don't believe, if you don't agree, and if you want to leave and unsubscribe, I respect it and I understand that. I'm also not here to delete any old videos and try and hide my flaws and my mistakes. I've done what I've done. I accept it. That's the whole journey of following God is to understand and remember where it is God has brought you from. You know, we all struggle. We all stumble. It doesn't matter if you've been spiritual or followed God for 400 years or, or two years or you just followed God last month. We're all on the same journey. It's not a race. It's not a competition. Yeah, so this is more so like a reflection. You know, this video it kind of was something personal to me. It's something I struggle with in my walk with God is keeping God in my presence or being in the presence of God. You know, sometimes we get that confused. Sometimes we think, oh, because we read a Bible for two minutes, we read our Bible for an hour and prayed for 30 minutes, you know, we checked it off our checklist and, you know, we gave, we, we gave God his meal. You know, we gave God his little meal and his drink and now he should be fine for the rest of the day. We kind of treat God like a child. Okay, we fed this child, we gave him a little drink, we could put him down for a nap so he could leave us alone for the rest of the day. That's not how it's supposed to be, you know? When you're raising a kid, it's, it's a constant job. It's a constant thing. Just like following after God, it's constant. It's consistent. God isn't just God on a Sunday. God isn't just God for 30 minutes out of your day or an hour out of your day. God isn't just God when you need something or you're sick and you need healing. God is God in every season, in every good season, every bad season, and every season, God is God. And we give thanks. And we give praise. We don't give praise because we get something in return. We give praise because God has done so much for us that we, that we don't even understand, we don't even realize. But with that being said, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. 
this is kind of the direction I'm trying to take my channel in 2024. You know what I'm saying? If you like it, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, I hope you stay along for the ride and I build this community. If you don't like it, it was nice having you around. I appreciate it. And I wish you the best in your future endeavors. This is Ferg. See you boys around. Thank you.